Hey guys, right now I am making some little chocolates, these little nuggets. I saw this idea from Lyric Lover and she was saying she got her idea from Crafty Irina in particular with these little address labels. Now my version is a little bit different because Hobby Lobby did not have the address labels with the Santas already on them. That was last year's address labels. So this year what I found at Hobby Lobby and if you can find these somewhere else then that's great. Office Depot sells these, Walmart sells them. Just get your holiday labels. I got these that were kind of a metallic border around in red and green and you get 60 labels that I got this year 2017's version of Hobby Lobby labels for Christmas and then this one is kind of a candy cane stripe with a little bit of green there so I got those two packages they were already 60% off so you're not really paying the full $2.99 per package because I didn't have to pay for the full price of that I went ahead and splurged on the little sticker packs that did have some Santa Clauses the stickers are also 2017. They're envelope seals, but I'm going to use them for the front of my Santa Claus chocolate. You get three sheets of 20, so they're 60. So that will match the amount of labels that you get. Santa Claus is you have to kind of make fit versus her address labels already had the Santa Claus on them. And they look a little bit better too because it, it was a green background. That is my version of this. I also got, because I thought this was really cute, the ones that say Merry Christmas. Right now I'm cutting the paper for the 2x7 size strips that all the chocolates are going to be housed on. Like so, inside of the bags. And I did get mine from clearbags.com. This is the size. It's 2 and a fourth by 8 and a half. These have the little seals on them. But if you want to use pretzel bags, you can also do that. So if you're if you're getting them on sale at Joann's or Michael's or whatever, and you're not going to make a whole lot of these, there's a hundred pieces in each one of these little packages here that I got from Clear Bag. And I think it was three thirty eight per hundred. I'm using twelve by twelve scrapbooking paper. And so what I have found, because Luke Lover didn't actually go over how she gets the most out of her paper, what I'm going to do is just show you. I am going to put my paper at the 7 inch mark first on my full 12 by 12. I'm going to cut that all the way down. And then I'm going to turn this 7 inch piece of paper around and cut it in 2 inch strips. I'm going to have a couple of pieces of scraps. I think this is like a 1 inch a seven and then this is a little two by two square I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. Now I have this little spare piece. I think I get two extra pieces out of this. I'm going to put my seven inch long piece of paper back in and then I'm going to go over here to the two inch mark. Cut that so that I have a two by seven. I believe I get six of these out of this first strip. Not quite two inches here, so I may have kind of went sideways when I cut, but I think I could still probably get by using this. This On this little scrap piece here, this was the, the other part of that 12 by 12. Turn it, this on its side, go to the seven inch mark, and then turn it around and go to the two inch mark. So then that makes six, seven, and that little baby strip. So I'm gonna I'm gonna count this as eight because I think when I was trying to cut those earlier, I may have kind of moved my board or my paper over a little bit because I'm trying to do this one-handed. I think that will still work. The other piece of paper that you'll want is all these little tiny pieces here if you don't want to just do all the labels. See all these little labels here? If you don't want to just go that route, which I think that's really the easiest and quickest, because if you use your scrapbook paper, you're going to need a three by one inch, and that is going to actually wrap around your chocolates just the way that your address label would. It's going to require you to put some adhesive on the back of it to be sure that it sticks to your chocolates. Now what I think I'm going to do that is also a little bit different that is separate out my milk chocolates from this because it's a multi-pack of chocolates. The one I got was at Walmart and it is that huge bag, 38.5 ounces. My bags have the milk chocolate with toffee and almonds, dark chocolate, 
uh, milk chocolate with almonds and just plain old milk chocolate. It's gonna make me 30 packages of chocolates if I put seven pieces each. Now you can make these shorter. I know I saw another lady that did something similar to this and she kind of had a little bit different on her packaging sizes like this and she had four chocolates on. I'm just doubling up on my paper. I have two pieces back to back and I'm sliding them down into my little baggy and what I want to do is when I put the chocolates in I want to put the sticky flat on top that way when you fold them over it's nice and clear all the way on the top and the back flap sticks to the back so here's all my chocolates I've nudged it down all the paper there's the back side of the paper so it's really pretty I like this idea uh, I love chocolate anyway, and then I am taking it and folding it all the way down so that I don't have any gap here. It's just a nice tight little package, and it's sealed here on the back. I may or may not use twine. I do have some twine here. Whatever you prefer doing. I kind of also like that these have the metallic wrappers too. I have actually gotten through the bulk of my address labels that I got at Hobby Lobby and adding the little Santa stickers. I got through all of those labels. So now I've switched over to my little pieces of paper. The little three, three long by one inch wide. So I've got like a huge stash. I'm gonna... All of these over here. This is the first time I've used this ATG gun. Now, I will say it was a pain to load, and I'm still trying to get used to it, but it's been handy, so I don't know. I really kind of like the small handheld deals that I got at the Dollar Tree. Just flip that down and, and go with the sticky tape, but there's hardly anything on that, too. So, you know, apples and oranges, but I'm still learning on this thing. The uh, address labels that I was using are very simple because you just peel and stick, you know. This you just have another step. You need to add some adhesive to the back of the papers and then fold it around your piece of chocolate. So what I've got here is my last little chocolate Woo! out of all these packs. I think I have a total, oh goodness, of 48 packs. I could have had 50 y'all, but I know that I dipped into my chocolate a couple of times in utter duress. I've got this one here made. This is with the label, with the sticky, and you can see that's the back, and this is the front, and I put the little, the little envelope seal stickers that I was using that I've had to change over to the Merry Christmas ornaments now instead of the Santa Clauses because I used all my Santas up. I'm taking the little chocolate and putting it in here. This is the tricky part here, especially after you, you switch over to the cardstock ones. You gotta kinda push and slide without ripping the sides of your little bags. As far as wrapping these things, it's really cute. What I'm doing is a little bit different on all of these that you see that are wrapped. They are all just the plain milk chocolate Hershey's. No nuts. And the reason why I did that is because some people with nut allergies may be panicked. This way, they can easily see the ones that have the nuts, like in my other packs here. So I think this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be my sixth pack of just having milk chocolate all together. And these turned out really cute. A Merry Christmas stickers, I think, are a neat little touch instead of just having it wrapped with the little bits of paper. I've got this one chocolate left, this milk chocolate. Okay, so I've got this piece here. I'm going to grab this ATG gun. Now, whatever adhesive that you have that you like to use is okay. I wouldn't advise putting any kind of liquid glue on this or using a hot glue gun because this being so close to the chocolate like that might cause the chocolate to melt. If you have a low temp hot glue gun, maybe tack it, like have a dot here and a dot here, but don't put a whole stream of it. Similar to when I made that candy Christmas tree and I used the, the hot glue to tack um, some candy bars to the, the little tree that I made. With. So for me, I'm using the ATG gun. So I'm just going to start from one end to the other and you've got to remember to push this little button in. Trigger button. Push that trigger button in and then roll it. I've been having a hard time trying to remember that. And sometimes I kind of go over it, but because it's sticky on both sides, I just put that blurb right on the, the 
piece of paper instead of letting it overlap and it's I even had a glob there earlier on one of them okay so like that right there so just take your finger and kind of smush it down I like to have my design on the center here at the top I'm gonna turn it upside down and where that glob is that's what I want to touch the paper so it's a nice good sticky area so I'm gonna just fold this over. And if you're not exactly on the fold, you know, like a straight piece of paper on the back, that's okay. You're, this is not what's gonna be seen. The front is what's gonna be seen. Now you could just leave this alone because the paper is decorated really nicely. However, because I still have some of my little labels left over, I'm going to grab this that says Merry Christmas so that it's in the same book as the rest of them that are in that package. Here are all my little chocolates in my last little milk chocolate packet. So I'm just going to take this little clear film off. Just folding it over, trying to keep it centered here. So now there's that little chocolate pack, and look how cute that is. And they all say Merry Christmas. So I think it just kind of ties everything together since you've got all this different paper. I think this is a great thing that any crafter can do very easily. Put in for stocking stuffers. You can take it to work for gifts for your coworkers. Sell it at crafters like I'm going to do. Have fun with this and make it whatever you want. Tomorrow I'm going to be making Christmas cards to fill up my card rack over there. So I'm, I'm a busy little elf. And then I have some hot cocoa and some apple ciders to make some cocoa packs. And that is, of course, all in addition to my jewelry board. So Merry Christmas! You all have a sparkle day. Bye!